Hey guys, welcome back to our living in the USA. Uh, this week we're in Canada and Ontario doing another campground review. This time we're at Charleston Lake Provincial Park. Uh, as always, we're going to do a drive around, show you the park. Uh, then we will, at the end of it, we'll do a wrap up, tell you the amenities that this campground offers. We'll also tell you what's in the area, things to do as well. Uh, drop us a comment, let us know if you like what we're doing for you guys. And if you have a question, let, let us know as well. We'll do our best to answer it for you. Hope you all enjoy. Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, when you come into Charleston Lake, it'll be located on the left. Just follow the road directly in. It'll bring you right down to the ranger station. When you get to the ranger station, they have designated parking spots for RVs. Park in any one of them, go inside, you'll get registered. Uh, they do have three different campgrounds inside of this one campground. They'll let you know where you're staying at and give you your site number. Uh, once you leave the ranger station, just continue down the road. The water fill station and your dump station is right here on the left. Some of the sites in here are not full hookups or sewer, so you may need to fill up with water or dump when you go to leave. Now we're going to take you all the way down to the very end and show you the last campground first. Uh, that one is called Shady Ridge. Uh, it will be actually located on Charleston Lake. Uh, that one and Bayside is also located on, Charles on the lake itself so you have access to walk directly down to it. Now this road here is 30 miles an hour. It's the main road all the way through the campground. Uh, they have diff The campgrounds are off to the right and left. They have parking off to the left uh, they also have an amphitheater I'll show that to you um, but you'll take this road all the way down to the end it is quite a ways down once you get down to the end if you continue to go straight that's where there's a boat dock uh, that you can launch motorcraft boats uh, that part of the lake is for motorcraft boats the part that I'm fixing to show you is for non motorized for canoes kayaks paddle boards things like that uh, one thing I like about this campground is the campsites are spread out so you have a lot of privacy. Each one of them is different. Um, they do have restrooms um, throughout the parks, little restrooms. Uh, now this one here has some yurts that are available for rental. So if you're looking to stay in a yurt, they have them here. This is one of the parking spots for the lake to go to. Now this is a part of the lake that is only for paddle boards. Um, you can go right up next to the cliffs. There is one little island in the middle that a lot of kids take the paddle boards over and they'll jump off the cliff. So a lot of fun can be had at this park whether you're jumping off cliffs, swimming, or just doing some paddle boarding or canoeing. Um, the water was always glassy while we were here. That's one thing we really liked as well. Being able to paddle board and see all the wildlife on the water. Now once we continue through Shady Ridge Campground um, it makes a big loop. There are some roads that go through in the middle. Um, again, campsites. Each one's a little bit different. There's a lot of tent campers here. This campground is more for your uh, mid to small size campers. I don't know if I could be able to get a 43 footer any, in any of these campsites. Um, there are campsites that can handle a 43 footer because we're here. So we just wanted to give you a drive through, show you around each campsite or each campground, give you an idea of what each one offers to you. Now, as you approach the exit to each campground, which is also the entrance, they have dumpsters located there, so if you need to throw away anything, you can drop it off on your way out of the campsite as you're leaving. Um, so you don't have to really go too far if you need to dispose of your garbage. So we're gonna head back towards the ranger station. Uh, the next campground is actually Bayside. However, before we get to Bayside, uh, they have an, another 
large parking area that will allow you to go to the lake so if that parking spot is full um, they will ticket you if you park on the side of the road so you do not park there um, if it's full come down to the next entrance and this will take you into another parking spot right here they also this is where the amphitheater is located you'll see the little trail right here to your right uh, there's also a trail leading from the campground up to the amphitheater. Uh, they also have restrooms located at this parking spot as well. So th the lake is located about 100 yards to your right there if you want to go out to the lake as well. So we're going to take you out of the parking area and then the next campsite or campground we're going to go into is going to be called Bayside. So, like I mentioned, Bayside is the next one we're coming up to. Um, it's also located on the lake. Uh, again, you have dumpsters at the beginning. The loop comes out right there to your left. Uh, same as the other campground. They're spaced out. Plenty of privacy. A uh, lot of activity going on in the campground, uh, which is something we really like. Um, each individual site is a little bit different. There's no two that are just alike. So, but anyways, we're coming down. Now, you will notice there's a little bit of water in the road. It rained quite a bit while we were here, but the roads are all asphalt or gravel. So, even though there's a little small potholes, it was not muddy or anything, and the campsites were nice and dry as well. So, don't worry about that if you were looking at the water and getting a little scared. <laughs> All right, so as we were coming through this campground, uh, we ran into a puppy. Uh, I guess he had gotten out, the owner had opened the door. Um, they didn't even realize that he was out. Uh, we were able to catch him and return him to his rightful owner. Uh, they were happy and he appeared to be pretty happy too, so we did our good deed for the day. So as we come to the exit of this park, or this camp, ground this is Bayside we're gonna go back again to the right this is heading still heading back towards the ranger station the next one is called Meadowlands it's directly across from the water fill and the dump station um, you'll turn into it it's not on the lake so this campsite is the one we're actually staying in while we were here uh, it's a big loop as well all the campgrounds or the campsites are the same they're they're different um, they're some are larger than others um, some are smaller, but they're all spaced out. They all have their uh, individual individuality, I guess you could say. Um, now, there is a little hill here we were a little worried about uh, scraping because we have a drop axle but or a drop frame. So we weren't too worried about that. We were able to get through there without scraping. And then we're actually located right up around this curve on the left right there. Now, right beside us is the bathhouse, which we're going to take in and show you. This is one of the restrooms, give you an idea of the size of it. And then here's one of the normal size showers. Um, they were fairly clean, didn't see any issues with them, and they were all working the way they were supposed to work. Uh, now we have a lot of people ask about handicap accessible. This is the handicap shower, and as you can see it's quite roomy, so if you do need a handicap accessible shower, they have it. Around the back side, they have one handicap accessible restroom and they have one regular sized restroom. Uh, somebody was in the handicap one, so I couldn't show that to you. 
uh, but I want to show you the other one. And then right around the side here, they have a small laundry mat, one washer, one dryer, which I thought was kind of nice. Uh, you don't see that in normal campgrounds that are state owned. Continuing around from the bathhouse, we're going to give you the rest of the tour of Meadowlands Campground inside this park. Uh, we hope we answered all of your questions for you. Uh, if you have a question that we didn't answer for you, please leave it in the comments. We'll do our best to answer it for you. Uh, stick around to the end. We're going to give a wrap up, tell you about the things in the park that you can do and the stores and everything around the park. Um, and then always remember to like and subscribe and share with all your friends. Hope y'all have a nice day. Hey guys, welcome back to Our Living in the USA. We're doing our wrap-up video here for you for Charleston Lake Provincial Park, which is located in Ontario, Canada. As always, we're going to try to answer all your questions for you. However, if we miss one and you have one at the end, leave it down in the comments. We'll do our best to get it answered for you. With that, let's go to location. It's nowhere. <laughs> um, all I can suggest is get your food and everything before you get to this location because yeah. literally it's in the middle of nowhere. You're, you're at least a half an hour to a grocery store. So um, any anything you need at the campground, I'd go ahead and buy it before you get there. Yeah. Uh, we just wanted to let you know that up front, uh, not to mislead or anything. Yeah. Um, now, the things to do at the park, though, Tons. They're tons. So it's not a big deal that you don't need to leave the park. Um, it's right on Charleston Lake. Mm -hmm. So you can take the paddle boards, kayaks out, and they even have a boat dock. They have buoys separating the park portions of the lake. So you don't have motor boats in the area where kayaks and paddle boards are. Um, but if you have a boat, you can bring it here, dock it, and go out on the lake as well. Right. So that's a nice feature. Yeah, definitely. Um, they have lots of trails. Yeah, lots of trails. Um, they have the Discovery Zone. Yeah, the Discovery the Center telling you all about the animals in the area and everything. Uh, they claim that there's no poisonous snakes in the area. So yeah. So that's kind of a cool little thing to know. They got an amphitheater, mm -hmm. which we did get to see one show. Yes, we. they told us there was a live concert. So we're like, hey, let's go check it out. Um, <laughs> well, come to find out, I think we were... Um, to Sesame Street. Yeah. Um, they got to play the instrument, so no yeah. complaints. <laughs> um, it was better than sitting in a camper, but uh, it was a little different. Yeah. <laughs> Still good. Now, uh, the staff. The staff was... Really good. Yeah. No complaints at all from the staff. Uh, we had to deal with a ranger station um, when we first <laughs> got there because, uh, keep in mind, these, these sites, they don't have hookups, so you have to fill your tanks with water when you get there. Mm -hmm. uh, we were filling our tanks with the water. And I got stung by a wasp right here, and well, my so, arm and everything swelled up for a week. That's her bad arm to begin <laughs> with, so uh, we had to do it with Ranger Station. They were very friendly and nice about it. Yeah. So um, no complaints on them. Staff was very helpful. Um, now, stores in the area. <laughs> yeah, like we mentioned with the location, nothing. nothing. But there is this little small store about five minutes down yeah, the maybe road. maybe five minutes down the road, maybe. They had fuel. Um, it Very was expensive. expensive. It's like eight bucks a gallon. So yeah. we had to go get some for the generator, and we only bought what we needed. We didn't buy no excess. <laughs> yeah, and I like if you need little things, you know, like bread, jelly, Ice. you know, whatever. <clears throat> uh, that that They have that there. Yeah, they do sell firewood in the campground. So you can buy Oh, yeah, they have like a semi load yeah. come in. Yep, that's the only thing they so, had, I think. <laughs> yeah. Um, now, as far as being big rig friendly, um, we were located in Meadowlands Campground yeah. in the park. Uh, that is definitely big rig friendly, plenty of areas. The site we were in, as you've seen, it was humongous. Yeah. Uh, we could have got two rigs our size yeah. in there with no problem. Um, Bayside and Shady Ridge, uh, there may have been. There's a few spots in there, maybe, I think. Maybe, but the roads were narrow. It's more for smaller campers and tent mm -hmm. campers. Yeah. Um, so, they'll, again, they assign the site to you. So, if you have a big rig, they're not going to put you in a place where you can't fit. So, uh, you don't have to worry about that too much. But they can get a big rig in there, or you can do tent camping. Now, the amenities at this campsite. They had a bathhouse near us. Yes. I know, and in, in, in every section they had bathhouses. Um, they had a washer and dryer in this one, which was very shocking. 
Yeah, we don't. You don't really see a washer and dryer in state parks or provincial parks. Yeah. Um, there wasn't a whole bunch of amenities. Yeah, they there, well, really. they rented. They did rent canoes. Yeah, yeah. So they, if you if you do don't that. have something on the water, you can go swimming at the beaches. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of kids would swim over there as an island, not too far of a swim. Yeah. And kids were over there jumping off the rocks and everything, having a blast. Um, but if you want to rent a canoe, I don't know what the fee is, uh, but they do have canoes that are available for rental to go out on the lake as well. Yeah. Um, now the roads in there, they were good. Um, a few little tiny potholes. Pot yeah, potholes. As you've seen in the video, it was a little water but um, from all the rain, but it wasn't muddy and the sites weren't muddy. Um, so you didn't have to worry about that. Uh, as far as golf carts go, uh, we didn't see any there. <laughs> I so didn't see any. I would just assume. I would assume they're not allowed. Yeah. I didn't I'd... ask. We don't have a golf cart, so. Yeah. But to not see not one that tells you that they're probably not allowed. Yeah. Um, now. The Wi-Fi and cell phones. Yeah. yeah I, we didn't have no issues with yeah, that we at were all. We able to stream TV and yeah. everything. So pretty good on that. Yeah. Um, for being out in the middle of nowhere, yeah, actually. exactly. <laughs> uh, we were kind of when we first got there, we were like, okay, great, we're not using nothing. Yeah. But uh, we were actually able to use everything. So, um, things to do in the area. I'll okay. be honest with you, um, we didn't explore out. There is so much to do in this park. We were here for a short period of time. We were on the lake every day with the paddle boards, and we yeah. had a blast. We did a couple walking trails. Uh, we did the concert. I mean, there's just there's a lot to do here, riding bikes and all. You really don't even need to leave the park unless you want to. So uh, we did not explore out for you guys. Apologize for that up front. Um, but we had a blast. Uh, we enjoyed this park. I, I would say we were we were very amazed at how much we liked this park compared to we thought we were going to try to get into another park up there yeah, we, were, we couldn't get in. Yeah, we were trying to go to Bon Echo because I'd heard a lot about it. And uh, when we couldn't get in there, we settled for this one. And it looked okay, but while we got and when we got here, we were like, wow. Um, we were I'm, very happy we yeah, got that one. <laughs> yeah, I'm not disappointed. We enjoyed it. Had yeah. a great time, and I would highly recommend it. So yes. hopefully y'all enjoyed the uh, drive-through and the uh, wrap-up as much as we did. Um, Check this park out if you're in the area. Definitely. Until the next time, we'll catch, catch you on, on the, the flip-flop. Flip -flop.